The dark underside of Hungary's 20th century story is on display at the House of Terror, housed in the former headquarters of both the Nazis and later the Communists' secret police. It welcomes you with a Soviet tank and a towering wall covered with portraits of the victims of this building. This museum makes it clear that while the uniforms changed in 1945, the terror did not. It offers a disturbing look at the grim terror of both the far right and the far left inflicted on the people of Budapest. To keep dissent to a minimum, the secret police of both the Nazis and the communists imprisoned, deported, or executed anyone suspected of being an enemy of the state. Rooms feature the many bleak dimensions of life in Hungary before freedom, gulag life. Countless writers, artists, and dissidents spent their best years breaking rocks in quarries. Propaganda preached, wave the flag, trust your leaders, and you'll enjoy the material fruits of your obedience. Both Nazism and communism celebrated a sham justice and a sham democracy. Behind the banners were all the domestic spy tools governments use to keep a people in line. Joining the church was a way to express dissent, and a people's faith was one thing the totalitarian governments could not control. The basement was the grim scene of torture and executions. While there is a happy ending, video clips show the festive and exhilarating days in 1991 when the last Soviets departed. The wall of the victimizers is an evocative send-off. It reminds visitors that most local members and supporters of the secret police, many of whom are still living, were never brought to justice. <laughs>